Oh, long time. Place a little dusty, but how have you been? Been all right. How you been? Good. Ah, we're back. We're back. Hey everybody, welcome to Simple Diversion. My name is Graham. My name is Rob. And this feels very weird to do I, because... I almost forgot to, <laughs> forgot that whole spiel. It's been but about I... two months since we've been on the air. It has been a while. We apologize, but life's gotten busy. We needed oh, yeah. a break. Oh yeah. Um, but I think we're feeling a little bit rejuvenized now and we want to get back to it and give you guys as many videos as we can because we enjoy you guys. Yeah. And we like hanging out with you and interacting, so we've kind of do felt we, bad. Do we enjoy them or the whiskey more? No comment. No. See ours. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do today is just a kind of a re-intro to Simple Diversion and what it is to us right now. A couple of bottles that we've gone through. We're going to kind of hijack Aquavite's recycled reviews, but yeah. it's going to be very just... Yeah. Va not vague, but... We just want to tell you what we've been yep. drinking, what we finished yep. off, and, and if we think you should buy it. And um, go from there. So our last video came out with the Johnny Walker White Walker, which you can Wow, that was a while here. ago. Yep. That has been a while. My question for you is, have you been able to find any of the single malt scotch Game of Thrones since they've come out at the beginning of November, which is over a month ago. No, I have not. I have looked, too, and yeah. I have not been lucky. We were hoping at least to both of us get at least one bottle each. Yeah. Um, Lagavulin and probably the, the Oven. Yeah. We haven't seen it anywhere. So yeah. just an update, if you were hoping for Game of Thrones... Because we did, we did mention it last video. Yeah, we, we, we can't find them. Uh, now we still, we still might. It's um, true. You know, but I'm we'll really surprised Total Wine hasn't carried them at all. Right, right. Um, our local liquor stores, nothing. Yeah. So, just uh, FYI on that, we would love to review them, but we're not sure yeah. that's going to happen. So let's just start with what we've been drinking, what we finished and we weren't able to review. We're just going to go through it really quick. So the first one that we have here, excuse the children. <laughs> the first one we have here is... Yours or mine? <clears throat> That's yours. <clears throat> so the first one we have here is Old Hickory. Now, Rob, this is a straight bourbon whiskey. Notice it does not say Kentucky. Oh, it so is I'm guessing from, it's not from Kentucky. It is not. It is from the great state of Indiana. Indiana. Which you don't hear too much from no. when it comes to whiskey. They do have a lot of corn, though. So That's true. I would assume... Every time I drive through Indiana, I'm like, jeez, this is like the flattest <laughs> state in the world. <laughs> this is 100% American grain, and it's 43% ABV. Flattest state in the world. That's what Kansas saying. would be that. Kansas is pretty flat. The reason why I picked this up was it had Old Hickory himself on there, Andrew Jackson. One of my favorite presidents. From the 20? He's on the 20. That's about all I know. Oh, and he, uh, I thought he was from Tennessee. I believe so. I yeah. believe you're right. Yeah. He also um, had bullets stuck in his body from duels and wars. Yeah. Uh, basically, your your American hard ass. Yeah. You know, yeah. He rode a horse. Old, old Hickory. He liked was, horses. I know that. Yeah. He had a he had a plantation with a bunch of horses. Mm -hmm. Lots of other great stories about him, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. This was okay, but I think for both of us it was unbalanced and yeah. uneven, and. The only way that I can really explain it is it didn't have those deep bourbon flavors. I almost felt like it was <clears throat> too easy to drink. Yeah. Yeah. And it um, it just, uh, the flavors didn't explode on my palate like some of the other bourbons. <clears throat> this is not something that I would buy again. Okay. Uh, I'd really? probably give it a, a C. How much was it? Uh, good, good question. This was about $33, which <clears throat> isn't terrible, but for yeah. something that I've never heard of, you know, I, yeah. I took a shot. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but I don't think I'll purchase it. Are there it are there any other kinds of old hickory? Like any other like a old oh, this says eighty six on it. Is there like a ninety two? Is there like a there is another bottle and I don't remember what Maybe it is, like if a, it's a rye, a rye or yeah. um something like that. See, I think I'd buy it. Really? I do. Well there you go. If I had the money. Quick grade, what would you give bucks. it? I'd I'd give it a new about a C plus. I mean but I'd, I'd buy it. It's not like over yeah. the top expensive. Um, no. 
And it's something that I wouldn't mind having in order, like, and I had like a party or something, I could, you know, a few guys over, I'd rather give them that than Talisker or something, you know? There you go. So, so that was um, Old Hickory. <coughs> Old Hickory. Jameson Black Barrel. This is the one you were talking about earlier. If and when we do our next budget review, this will crack my top five. Really? It will. Really? And um, wow. the only Irish whiskey that I really enjoyed before this was Red Breast 12 Year. And this is now like... No love for the Bushmills 10. I do like the Bushmills 10. But, but not as good as the Red Breast. It just, um, yeah, not as good as the Red Breast. Have you ever had the 15? Or the Cast Strength Red no, Breast 12? No. That's one I really want to try is the uh, Cast Strength. Send it over. Yeah, send it over. <laughs> so this is going to be 40%, yeah, you know, whatever. It's got those Irish whiskey flavors, more than the normal Jameson to me. Yeah. It's got more depth. Yeah. And uh, you're going to pay a little bit more than nor the normal Jameson. It's going to be eh, anywhere from $32 to $42. Yeah. I typically like it better on that cheap end. $42, I, will, I won't buy it for that. All right. I paid $36 for this bottle. So I will go to the middle ground. I think it's that good. Mm. And I think it's a great Irish whiskey on a budget. So I'm guessing you would buy this again. I would. Oh, and I will. Oh, yes, definitely. Okay. Definitely okay. like the Jameson better. I, I would, um, I mean, for the price um, and for it being Jameson, I'd probably give it about a C plus as well. I'd give it a B. Okay. B or B minus. Nice. Oop. Have some dick. Have some dick. Another one that would, well, it actually, I think it cracked, did it crack your top five? What is it? The Tomatin 12 Ooh. year. Did it crack it or did I it? I think it got an honorable mention. Yeah. This is really great stuff. You know, we didn't do a full on review. Chad and I reviewed the 18 year when Rob was on his honeymoon. So check that one out. But we did not review the, the 12. And this is actually, I think my second bottle it's that a I lot of almond. I've made through. That's really good. That's really nutty. Mm -hmm. And a little smoke. No um, smoke, really definitely nutty. Definitely taste that sour, sour mash. Yeah. See where they got the name. So this is going to be uh, matured in bourbon and sherry casks, and it is, I believe it's 43% if I am correct. No, 43%. So I was very impressed that they they upped it to 43%, and yeah, we can find this for $30, which yeah. is in the ballpark of Glen Morangy. Oh man, that is such a good deal. 40, 30 bucks? <laughs> yeah. What was that? That was my dog farting. <laughs> That was you. <laughs> as soon as it happened, he goes. <laughs> Another one that we've kind of, you know, passed through while we're looking for the the expensive stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, I'd give it a B. Yeah, I, I would definitely give it a B yep. as well. And you can't go wrong for thirty dollars. Great scotch, mm -hmm. single malt scotch on a budget. Go try bucks. some Tomatin. And then the the eighteen years only sixty. That's really good. Again, this is Wisconsin prices. It depends where you live. I know some people comment and they're like, "Well, here it's this much." I get that. Um, maybe we'll vlog. You know, I thought that would be cool too. We start vlogging, going to liquor stores, and just showing people like what our prices are, yeah. what we can get, and what should we get. I told you it was thirty dollars. <laughs> the next one that I really fell in love with as well is the Dalmore 12 year single malt scotch. I believe this is a Highland. Tell me I'm right. Yep, Highland single malt scotch. This is going to Wasn't be- Wasn't that on your blind tasting? 40%. Can I do that for your blind tasting? I think so, I think that's when we opened it. Yeah, we opened it, yeah. Yep. Yep. And again, this was really good. Um, wow. If I'm, if I'm correct here. Like, um, Kind of some some fruity flavors to it. Okay. It's really weird. Delicate when, but deep. When you're explaining these bottles and I'm drinking Dickel, I'm yeah. like, I don't nothing. I'm nothing like these that. fruity flavors. <laughs> but Dalmore is um it's kind of a higher end brand, I feel like. Oh yeah. But I think, so. I think it's worth it. I think it's the it the bottle just kind of looks bold. Mm -hmm. Like you would see in like a, a saloon or something. I agree. I'd like to try the 18 year and the cigar malt mm -hmm. as well, but those cigar are malt. Sounds well over $100. We can find it for usually like $65. The price yeah. has gone up recently. It used to be like 55, but there's been a couple of our local liquor stores that have had it on sale. Actually, our Sendix grocery store yep. has it for 50 right now. Um, and uh, I think Otto's in the falls had it for 50 as well. Nice. So it's very tempting, but it is <sighs> right now. It's tough to do. in the butt. Off the top of my head, I'd probably give it a A minus. Mm -hmm. 
So definitely okay. worth buying if you can find it. Probably give it a B right price. plus. So those are some of the, we've gone through a, a few more, but I, yeah. we have thrown some stuff yeah. out. We had um, a couple Michters. bottles. Yep, Michters uh, bourbon. That was really good. The, uh, that was the Kentucky straight. Yep, uh, Booker's. Um, Try that. Yep, yep. Um, I've gone through a lot of bottles. Like I've had a lot of bottles that were just had, yeah, but we had a couple of rums as well. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. and, and um, Diplomatico. Yeah, Florida Cana, eighteen year. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. So, so just a couple things that we that are newer that maybe you haven't seen would be so three things that we have um, gotten somewhat recently that we'd like to try soon. Uh, first is the Balvini Peat Week. Mm -hmm. This is aged 14 years. It's a single malt Scotch. It is the 2003 vintage. Rob, tell me about what the distillery does once a week, one, once a year, um, to make this stuff. I'm guessing they take it to Pete, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Pete does something special to it. And so once a year, the distillery shuts down <laughs> completely, yeah, yeah, just... and they they make the the peated whiskey. And there's only what 54 or something. Uh, 52 cast. two casts. This is two casts. Uh, bottle okay. out of the 34th cast. Oh, nice. That's crazy. And David Stewart signed it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> let me let me smear it for you. <laughs> See if it smears. So this is about a hundred dollars. Um, definitely glad oh. Rob got this for my birthday. Oh, he just chipped his tooth. We got it on video. We're amateurs. The next thing we have here is Knob Creek. I have had a couple sips of Knob Creek. Oh yeah. Um, before is this, this the uh, oh smoked maple. Smoked maple. Okay. Thought we'd give it a try. I bet you that's sweet. Sounded good, and it was uh, about it was on sale for like twenty five bucks. This would be really good, I feel like, and I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, Fall. but I feel like this would be really good with hot chocolate. What the? Like mixing it in? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I'd like to try it, you know, neat first, but... Uh, so this is a Kentucky Straight Bourbon with natural flavors, and it says that it's patiently crafted. How many years is that? I don't know, hmm. but it's patient. And it is 45% right, ABV. Four five years. Probably. So... We're gonna try that one out eventually. <coughs> and the next one was very interesting. The reason I bought it was because I got these two glasses for free for buying it. Nice. Um, and it's something that I've never heard of before. It's Altmore 12 year. Can I ask whether Glen Morant? This energy? is what they had. It was just, yeah. Okay. Probably just a bunch of them that they got in that they're trying to get rid of. The Altmore was established in 1897 and it says that it's of the foggy moss. It's a Speyside single moss. malt. And it says, um, often veiled in obscuring mist from the foggy moss, the distillery has long been shrouded in mystery. Yet its whiskey's ex exceptional smoothness reveals why industry insiders accorded it a rare top class status and why the dram of locals and bucky fishermen have been a secret savored for over 100 winters. That just makes you want to drink it. Like, yeah. mysterious. Uh, 46% ABV, Altmore 12 year. This was just a, a video to get us back into the swing of things. We're gonna be coming out with a cigar video very yeah. shortly as well. Hence why I have the warm <laughs> gear on. It, he thought we were just doing that one. I'm like, no, we're gonna do this one first. Yeah. Well, we're gonna hope to get you as many videos as possible. We can't guarantee how many that is. Obviously the goal is one a week, but yeah. um, we'll see. At least a couple of months from here. But we're not dead, so we no, just wanna not. let you know that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. We're, we're getting big. I mean, we keep getting subscribers, so we want to keep doing it. Yeah. We even had somebody steal one of our videos, so that was cool. Yeah, that was that was kind of weird. Yeah. So, and his video channel was like Rob or something. Robert, Just my name. That's that's cool. Chris, if that was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, don't forget to always have a cigar in one hand, a drink in the other, and good company by your side. And as always, we'll see you soon. See you soon, guys.